I'm Lorna Galloway. I'm an agricultural consultant in the Stranraer office for SAC Consulting. Today we're on farm just outside Stranraer talking about simplifying our sheep systems. Our key focuses today are going to be on health planning, making our flocks more sustainable and we're also looking at handling systems, how we can use different setups and uh, technology to make our, make our lives easier but also make our systems more efficient. Our key speakers, Megan Ferguson from SRUC Vets, Raymond Creerer from SAC Consulting and Robert Ramsey from SAC Consulting are going to give you their three top tips on simplifying your sheep system. I'm Robert Ramsey, I'm an agricultural advisor working out of AIR for SAC Consulting. Really when we're trying to improve the output of any sheep system or indeed a beef system, there's three key areas that we need to focus on. These are fertility, survival and growth. Each of these is the key priority throughout the year. So in fertility, we're looking at it in the autumn through tupping time. For survival, it's post-Christmas post time into scanning time, making sure we've got as many viable fetuses or retaining as many viable fetuses as we can. And obviously lamb survival is the, a, is the major goal through the spring. After that, we then move into the growth area when we're trying to get as much a growth or live weight gain onto these lambs as we can a, for as little input as possible. And that cycle is, I think, really important to look at when we're trying to look at a whole system. Whole systems are quite challenging and often quite scary to look at if you've got an issue. But if we break it down into these three key areas, we can actually have quite a, a good discussion and make some really good conclusions really quite straightforward. My name is Megan Ferguson, I'm, I'm a vet working for SRUC. We've been talking a lot about growth rates in lambs and productivity. A big concern about growth rates in lambs is how worms affect them um, and we've had a big chat about worm resistance. So our top three tips to take home from the discussions we've had would be um, to know the resistance pattern on your farm, so do some testing, make sure the wormers you are using are working. Um, the second one would be try and reduce your use where possible, so every time you get out a wormer to use, do you have to use it? And the third one would be to watch what you're buying in. So discuss with um, your, your sellers um, the worm and history of the stock you're buying and make sure you, you quarantine and treat as appropriate on your farm before they get onto your pasture. Hello, I'm Raymond Creerer. I'm a consultant with SEC based in Air, and we are here today at Bankhead Farm Cairn Ryan by kind permission of Grant Hurcomb. My top three tips on how to simplify your sheep system is firstly, define your system of the future. What, what's the key aims and objectives of your flock and where do you want to be in five, ten years time? Secondly, question everything about your sheep system. Uh, did you need to handle the sheep? Could you have done things slightly different? Could you have used a different treatment that would have saved a separate handling? Thirdly, review the questions. Review everything and review that with a friend or a group. You can often learn from other people who have done something similar or who are trying to achieve uh, similar things from their sheep system. For more information on sheep systems, you can visit faz.scot.co.uk.